the nitrogen cycle and why it's important to fish keepers. Before adding fish to your aquarium, there is some important information you should understand about how the aquarium water remains clean and healthy enough for fish to live in. An aquarium is a closed water environment. Unlike a pond or river, there is not a continual supply of fresh water to dilute and refresh the system, which means dirt and waste matter build up quickly. The fact is, fish poop in their own homes, and sometimes we are guilty of adding too much food, which sinks and rots, polluting the water further. On top of this, live plants shed their leaves, which also rot in the water. As these waste materials decay, they produce invisible poisons in the water, primarily ammonia, which builds up and is extremely harmful to your fish, causing disease and death. Fortunately, there is a natural biological process called the nitrogen cycle that we can recreate in the aquarium to convert this toxic waste into safer compounds. The nitrogen cycle is carried out by a friendly bacteria called nitrifying bacteria. These guys set up home, then reproduce in the biological media in the aquarium filter. Once established, they do the job of converting the poisons through the cycle into a type of plant food called nitrate. Nitrate, although not great in large amounts, is pretty harmless to your fish and will be removed by the plants using it as food, as well as your regular water changes. Don't forget those all-important water changes. But these bacteria do not grow overnight. To establish the correct amount in the aquarium filter, it naturally takes about eight weeks. And during these early days, while they are rapidly reproducing, if you don't take care, the pollution levels can outweigh the bacteria and the water becomes toxic for your fish. This early period, when fish can get sick and die, is called new tank syndrome. But do not fear, there is plenty you can do to prevent new tank syndrome and to encourage the nitrogen cycle. You can Add some bacteria. To get the population started, you can purchase bacteria-based filter starter products specifically for aquariums to speed up the cycle process. Start with only a few fish and choose strong fish varieties. Don't add more fish straight away. Add new fish in small quantities gradually over a number of weeks, giving the bacteria a chance to increase with the fish population. Feed your fish only little amounts in the early days and make sure that they eat what you put in. If they don't, then you should scoop out the excess with a fish net. Measure how much of the invisible toxins are in your aquarium with an aquarium test kit. Then you will know if you need to take action to improve the water. For the first six weeks, do a weekly water change of 20% of your aquarium water volume to dilute and remove waste and toxins. Then proceed to do monthly water changes of 25% volume. Although this all sounds a bit scary and a bit scientific, it really is simple to get going if you follow the rules. Within a matter of weeks, your filter will be bursting with bacteria, known as a mature filter, who happily clean up the fish mess and make the water healthy and your fish happy.